Hello everyone and welcome to another Yukon UPDC construction project update. My name is Lou Gett and today is October 19th, 2018. We are on the new Student Recreation Center project. This is our 17th video of the series and we're going to be taking you through progress to date. We'll begin on our east elevation as we have in the past. With a note down in the left hand section of the screen our steam lines were completed, the insulation installed, the drying process ongoing, and that's where we're going to begin our boots on the ground. Let's note all these white square patches are winter protection over our luminar polycarbonate panel areas. We're now moving over the, our outdoor recreation center. We have a nice treat showing you the second floor storage area today. And now as we move to our climbing wall area here. You also see the same white winter protection on the left hand side right where the lift is through through there. Now as we spin around we have a nice treat for you. Recently this week published is a new renderance drawing of this north elevation and let's focus on the climbing wall in front of us. Notice on the first and second floor there'll be glass exposed to the exercise areas. Fantastic. As we continue around on the north elevation, we can see the composite panels are almost to the east end over the climbing wall area. And the iPay has started next to the climbing wall all the way down. And the iPay has to work one direction and it can't, you know, left to right or right to left. So it closes each other out. And in this area, the terrace is the focus point. We've stopped to the terrace on the left hand side and now we'll be working to the terrace on the right hand side. We are now flying over the corner, our northeast corner here and again remember this is our mechanical room in this area and today we'll have our first treat. We'll take you inside and show you the progress in this area right over through here. Now most noticeably as we move over this hillside, our west elevation, we have the scaffolding up in this area. The Winter protection has been taken down and again we're getting ready on this elevation to start the installation of the polycarbonate panels. But most of the glazing on the south side of the mechanical room has been completed in this area. Perfect. Also notice over our pool area where the lift is from the low roof to the high roof. The composite panel installation has started in this area and that travels all the way over Fitness 3 all the way back to the north elevation. So you can see the challenge. We have to start all the way here to the south and move to the north to tie it in. Now as we spin over this elevation, it's about the stair towers. This one here all the way to the west, the framing has been completed. All of the panels, the exterior sheathing has been done. All of the wood blocking, rough openings has been completed in this area right in through here. And as we move over to our, our final look at the stair tower, you can see how the progress of the construction is completed over in here. This area here, framing complete on the stairs, all the window openings are done, ready for the siding. We talked about it in the overhead. Here we are up close. The utility lines, specifically the uh, steam, condensate, high pressure condensate in through here. The joints are all done. Last month, they were hustling to weld them up through here. Just completed today. The next time we come through here, this will be backfilled. A little tidbit before the system can be completed. That's what you hear, the noise here. This is a drying unit. The inside of the pipes are actually dried out. Pretty neat. But we're entering through the loading dock. Just to give you a point of reference here. We call this the back of house. This is the first floor area right in through here. Okay, Got the elevator right over in through here. So the loading dock, you can get to the elevator to bring materials in through here. It's a large corridor we have in here to make this work. It's all blocked down in this space so that it can take the abuse of products coming in and out. So we'll take you in to here. So last month, a month ago, this work was really not even here. It was just beginning. The mechanical room here, we're gonna scoot over here. Right, the first thing the steam does is goes through a pressure reducing station. This is our PRV station right through here. Okay, and what it does is it takes the high pressure steam 65 pounds and knocks it down. Usually we have five pounds in the building in through here. All right, great strides. Put as much piping up in the air as you can. 
up and through here and eventually this PRV station right in through here there's a connection point right down in through there this will come down in here and come over here we see the guys are just about ready to make the pickup we had the testing right in through here a couple of days ago a great bulk area so you have complete access to the pipes in through here fantastic there's our domestic water coming in through in through here our fire protection line right in through here you can see because we're so close to the outside right now a little heat trace piping on here again 30 degrees last night so you know it changes quick in october in through here all right we'll spin back over here and again the steam comes up right in through here these are the pressure reducing valves usually a one-third two-thirds different sizes so that they can fluctuate a little bit on the use on the other side the mechanics put blank flanges in through here so that they can do their testing things of that nature we have guides can't support this it's got to be able to ride smoothly on through here big pipe lots of mechanics working in through here as we stay in the back of the house and again service areas back of the house the mechanical room the electrical room off the back in through here so we're moving over to the pool area over here we have the pool equipment room in this section over here we have an equipment equipment area over in through here it's late in the day on a Friday there's still men are still working prepping the slab we showed you slabs a long time ago the next time we come in here this will all be placed in this area right in here big strides last month we came in here we talked about the need to get this wall going on over here all right in less than a month we didn't even have a footing we're gonna walk over in this section in a second like I said last month we were talking about the need to put a footing in here so that this wall could get started in less than a month it's completed all the way up to the deck and this wall gets all tile on it it's a beautiful tile mural that blends in with the floor in here a pattern a tile pattern in through here all right got some utilities to get in through here and then they'll finish this last wall up in here men's room woman's room down in through here so what a great accomplishment what a great job with the masons first floor fitness two we talked a lot about how important the sockets were drywall has started that's huge that means all of the mechanicals have been inspected in through here we're going to show you we're using an origami product in through here not the old style corner beads the product itself has its corner for an explanation of this origami product this is hasn't been around that long this is fantastic the labor savings on this product is unbelievable so the drywall contractor in his shop has a machine that bends and glues finished corners on this product this is a four by eight sheet of drywall that cut that's one cut two cuts three cuts one taping two tapings that would normally be done in the field the product comes out complete you can see how it actually there's a miter to the drywall in through here and a hot bead of glue on here and that's a finish the actual paper is continuous right around i'll flip it around so you can show it so a modern day product huge labor savings on the job very exciting hillside entrance each month we take you through there to show you the progress we pass by our juice bar our fitness one fitness three over the top the big change this month is all the plastic the winter protection has been out of the way for our polycarbonate panels they're going to start in through here luminar panels called next month we come out here there'll be great progress in through this area right in through here second floor senior management area in here the changes from last month all of our soffits in this area again they work from the first floor up all the structural wall up over the top in through here that's the third floor we're looking at right in through here the soffits as we go over here towards the east towards fitness four in that area right in here and this hard ceilings will come down in here remember there's another desk up in this area same thing as the desk on the first floor that we talk about we're continuing on the second floor mind and body big changes in here big framing going on the ceiling had to be completed up over the top because of the quartz over the top and the sound before all the framing could go in through here 
Last time we showed you our uh, patio out here on the mind and body. Let's see if we can take a peek. Remember, this is going to be accessible. The terrace. Right, how many rec centers do we know that have a terrace like that that's connected to our conference room here, to the senior management area back in through here? Let's grasp this moment just for a minute. You stand out on the terrace. Let's check the view out, okay? School of Business. How's that view for Gample? Right through there, okay? ITE, Babbage Library, Wetton. Fitness 4, we don't talk about it too much. We focus a lot on one and three, two and four over here. But again, look at the view, school of business over and through here. But let's take a minute and talk about what a clean job this is. Compliments to Turner and the way they keep a job. A clean job is a safe job, nice job. The studios, there's two studios, big spaces, one over in here and one over in here. And then there's another big room over into this area over here. We're still in Fitness 4. We're all the way over here next to the climbing wall. Let's talk about this interior. This is going to be storefront. Here you are on the second floor. The giant climbing wall in through here. You'll be able to watch people climb. How awesome is that right through there? This huge climbing wall in through here. You're exercising over here. The second floor, Fitness 4. You're looking out at the beautiful quad in through there full glass on the interior people climbing up in here awesome second floor moving to the east to the corridor that's kind of on top of our back of house from the first floor let's take a minute here and step into our outdoor recreation center on the second floor this is going to be our storage area up in here but unbelievable space right off the bat we have a trolley beam up in through here so the equipment, we had an opening right in through here. The equipment is going to be able to be picked up on the first floor, carried up with this hoist system right up in through here, and then stored up in this space right in through here. Be just an open railing on the reception area right in through here. So this will be open. The reception area on the outdoor recreation center is down in through here. How awesome is that? The people are going to come in in through here. The desk is below us right in through here. Open railing through in here. All the products are stored back in through here. Big progress from last month to this month. The elevators signed off. Available for use when they need it. Third floor, Mac court progress. Still about the framing. Almost 100% on the framing in through here. Anytime you see the sound attenuation, kind of looks like insulation, you know that it's done and complete. And the utilities have been inspected through there. Again, the track over the top, the glazing's been installed, a couple of videos, we took you back through there. Before we leave the third floor, let's step into this mechanical area here, right? On the northwest corner, the hillside area. All right, big strides. We talked about this was a stacked unit in through here and exactly what you're seeing in through here, it's the box, right? Normally the boxes are about this high. This is double the height. The ductwork up over the top, the roof line. All right, big space, big unit. Hillside road entrance, exterior progress from last month to this month. The Ipe completed in this section. The work in the soffits, again, the origami. Look, made up corners in here, fantastic. Anytime again you see the insulation up there, all the mechanicals have been done. Let's take a quick look all of our benches out here. And again, to have benches underneath this huge soffit, how awesome is that going to be? The bus stop comes over here, right? We have benches down on Fairfield Way. We have benches here now, staggered look. The grade will come up higher, so it's just a, a little step up to be able to sit on there. Again, today is October 19, 2018, and we thank you for your interest in our university projects. Remember to subscribe to our UPDC YouTube channel. At the bottom in red here, a click on the subscribe, a second click on the bell right next to it. Now you'll receive an automatic email every time we add a video to this site. We thank you for your interest in our university projects. Have a great day.